Herald Tribune investigative reporter Lee Williams broke a story today about an assistant state attorney practicing with a suspended license. Earlier, I sat down with him to talk about the case. Herald Tribune investigative reporter Lee Williams, welcome to Studio B. And you broke a story today regarding an assistant state attorney in Sarasota County. What did you find out? Hagen Brody has been practicing law or practiced law for a couple weeks while his license to do so, his legal license was suspended. He had fallen behind on his continuing legal education, CLE credits. Mm -hmm. He actually had the credits, but he hadn't uploaded them onto the bar, the Florida Bar's website. So they took action. They took swift action. Um, they tried to notify him via mail and via email that, hey, your license is in jeopardy. And so is the Florida Bar suggesting malfeasance here, or was this just an oversight? Well, it was an oversight, but they didn't have a correct email or postal address form, mm. so that all got kicked back, and they had no choice. They suspended his license. Nobody, the telling thing, Grant, is that nobody in the state attorney's office knew that he was practicing with a suspended license until the defense attorney brought it to their attention. Uh, yes, and he's been, he was getting uh, convictions and had uh, tried a few cases in that time. Yeah, he's a busy guy. As uh, state attorney Ed Brodsky pointed out, he's a felon prosecutor and he's in court almost every day so they don't know how many cases went through his hands they do know that there was one major trial uh, a drug trafficking trial in which he obtained a conviction while suspended mm. so he wrote 20 informations roughly Brodsky estimated under 25 and those charging people with crimes so they're conducting a review of all of his activity during the suspension and from what I've gathered from your reporting this isn't the first time this has happened in the office no um, within uh, within the last year another prosecutor and uh, both these guys were ended up being verbally counseled got suspended because of CLE credits so Brodsky's calling for some changes in his office and at the bar they're gonna start tracking their attorneys CLE credits and, and where they're at but he also hopes that the bar will change some policy to notify employers mm -hmm. because as he points out in the story if he would have known one of his prosecutors was suspended had a suspended license he wouldn't have let him in a courtroom Lee Williams thanks so much for joining us and great reporting anytime Greg.